Rob. Uh, during the week, Rob Gaylard uh, caught up with Jim Stones. <laughs> Jim, 10 years, does it seem like it? Oh, the body's down to feel a little bit. Yeah, no, no, not really. It's been, you know, your footy career just sort of, seasons go and you look back and it's going, oh, where that go to? And, but, you know, every year you get to around, sort of, around 10, 11, you start going, you know, this is a long season, but then all of a sudden it's, it's, it's over. So, they've gone quickly. Jimmy Steins has got a cult hero following out here in Australia, and yet there's a little bit of it back home as well, too. No, I don't know where this cult hero following is coming from. I haven't heard of it. You haven't heard of it? <laughs> Let me tell you, Jim, there's a lot of number 11s that get around the outside of the ground there of a, of a weekend. Yeah, I, I suppose when you when you start playing first, you know, kids, it's, it's, it, football's just such a religion in this country, you know? It's, uh, you, know, you just see it with the racial, the whole thing around the racial vilification. I look at it and go, wow, it's taken footy to make a real stand and make a change in this field. No one else has been able to know. And it just shows that that's where the power is in this state and in, in this country. So it's, uh, it's certainly a lot different than it is back in Ireland. Jimmy, what's your reaction to perhaps the thought now that more talent scouts will head back to Ireland to have a look and perhaps turn the clock back 10 years and do what they did with you? Yeah, I think it's exciting, um, particularly with the games. They're going to start the games up again. There's going to be some schoolboys games going on. And um, I suppose when I finish footy, maybe there'll be a, another role there for me so I can you know, get a free ticket back to Ireland on a regular basis, have a look at some of these young kids. You know, who knows what it'll uh, turn out to, but it's certainly it's very exciting. And you know, for any young kid who might get that opportunity, whether you make it or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just the experience of coming to another country. You've said the 10 years has gone pretty quickly, Jimmy, but I suppose would I be right in saying that if the state of origin match didn't fall when it did a couple of weeks ago, and we're looking at this 10 years of straight football, would Jimmy Steins have run out and round that particular weekend? Oh yeah, of course I would have run <laughs> Well my mail was that Jimmy Steins was suffering a little bit. Oh yeah, look I've got certain injuries that, um, you know, that came at a time where I needed a weekend off and um, just fell that weekend where, you know, if I had to get out there, yeah, I could have done a few things and, and but the body needed a break so I could finish the, the season off strong and it just came, I had a chat to Jared about it. And we sat down and we said, look, this is what I'm doing. And I was having a lot of, I had to have a few objections the week before to play. And I said, look, I would rather be, I'd love to play, but I'd also love to get this injury right. And, I, and I'll, I won't be able to train all week anyway. Um, and it's just not a good lead up to a state game, not being able to train with the guys and really feel part of it. And then all that pressure on. So in the end, um, and also I probably would have maybe been on the bench as well. And it, you know, you've still got to prepare yourself emotionally and everything else. So in the end, Jared said, look, OK, well, I respect your decision and I know you know that you'd really love to play and, and I wish I had been like if it was last week it would have been great because I was feeling really good but uh, so that's just they're, they're the breaks it's the Brownlow undoubtedly one of the highlights yeah that's finest footy yeah yeah absolutely just some great moments and look yesterday was a great moment and last Sunday you know winning and beating count that's particularly geez, you know, it, it, sometimes the games you expect to win, they're not such great wins because, you know, you've got to do that. But when um, we're going through this rebuilding phase and you have a win of that magnitude, it just really, it's just so good. It's such a good feeling to be around. It was interesting, uh, I spoke with Todd earlier in the week, Todd Viney, and we, we reflected back to what Kevin Sheedy said about Melbourne when you played Essendon, and he said that Melbourne are just that far away from winning games of footy. The next week you come out and do it. Now you've knocked off North Melbourne game one, now you've knocked off Carlton. You know, Sheedy can't be all that wrong. No, and, and he's right. You know, if we had have capitalised on some of our opportunities in that game earlier on, it, well, it might have been different. Same when we played Hawthorne. You know, we should have been up to six goals in the first quarter. Instead, we only kicked two or three. Um, and that makes a difference as the game unfolds. You know, we're always there halfway through the third quarter and then we fall away. Well, this week we were there in the third quarter and we knew. You know, today we've got, particularly at half time, we just knew that we were in control. Jimmy, is that probably just the little catapult that you need, even though it's probably come at the wrong time of the year? Oh, definitely, yeah. Just, you know, blokes kicking goals that were supposed to kick goals. And um, you can see it, we weren't missing the goals that we were, we were missing before. Swartzy kicking them from outside 50, and just that confidence was there. Blokes taking marks, you know, a ball would fall out of pack, and we were scooping it up and kicking the goal, not forward, the back's taking it out and rebounding it like a shotgun. So that just, um, just a bit of confidence, people taking a risk and, and it paying off. And um, seeing Glenn Lover being able to take a few more risks and, and it paying off, that's what started to happen last weekend, and, uh, which hasn't happened for a while. And so now hopefully that'll just carry us through to the end of the year.
Jimmy Steins, thanks for some great philosophies and uh, thanks for 10 great years. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. All the best. And uh, Jim Steins there talking to Rob Gullard and uh, 10 years of footy for Jim and uh, 200 and something in a row. By and, a big man. Uh, it's just an amazing performance. Now, Melbourne, of course, are playing... Uh,